Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Let's Talk About Cigars. Today it's going to be about a very special cigar, so uh, let's light one up. So for today's video I'm picking something special. It is not like a very special triple band cigar or something like that. But it is limited, it is hard to find, it is pricey, and I hope it's very good. A couple of our customers already smoked it, uh, I heard some very, very good things about it, so I really wanted to try it. It's now early in the morning, uh, it's a Hoyo, so for me most of the time it's a perfect morning cigar. So uh, let me show you what we are going to smoke today. So, for today's video, we are picking this one. A petite pericoso. And let's also pick a close box. So I can show you what's inside. So, here we have a better view of the box. Of course, all the nice stickers. For those who don't know, it, it will kill you. <laughs> oh, maybe I didn't show you enough the, the outside. It's a nice, the luxury black box as you can see with the Bihika or Reserva, Grand Reserva. The date on it is February 19. So even though it was introduced in 2018, I believe. The box date is all 2019. A beautiful nice sleeve. Again, as, as, we, as that you would see with the Behikas. And then we have the travel humidor. So, Hoyo is doing this already for a couple of years. Every time the travel humidors, the special humidors are different. Um, according to the uh, the how do I say the message the the press release it is a 5,000 count numbered box but thus far we have never found the number on the box so if somebody knows this please let me know here you can see 15 petit bellicoso bellicosos probably saying it wrong but and here we have the box of course some information of course the habanas and here you can see the beautiful cigars. See, there's a humidity. Everything is in it. It really seals like a proper humidor. Here you can put the liquid, or you can take this out and you can maybe put in a, a Boveda bag. Humidity looks quite high, but it isn't. <laughs> These just came in, so we are going to take uh, to open them up, let them rest in the humidor, open to make sure they're good, and then we can ship them out. Okay, I already took one out of the open humidor, so I'm gonna pack this in again. It's beautiful. It's all very nice finish. There's no plastic on it, so it might look a little bit dirty or ugly, but it's uh, because of the protection film that's on there. But it's a very, very beautiful box. Of course, everything nice there. Beautiful. Well done, Habanas. Like I said, it's morning, so I need some coffee. And that's the only thing I need next to this beautiful CR. Oh, of course I'm going to use my new favorite cutter. I'm going to start off cutting off a little piece. Very nice clean cut. Nice draw. So with a pyramid shaped cigar like this, 
I always start off with cutting off a little piece because you can always cut off more. That is always a thing that's good to remember. So this size wise, it is a 52 ring gauge cigar. As you can see, it's a very nice ring gauge cigar, not too big. Now a lot of people are now looking for the bigger ring gauge cigars. Habanos is also producing a lot of the bigger ring gauge cigars, but it's not always better. So, I'm using my Dupont Maxi Jet. I think I lost my extreme. Not sure yet. It might have happened. So, with a length of 25, uh, 125 millimeters, this is a nice size cigar. The set ring gauge 52. It's decent, not too big. It's easy to bring with you cigar. That's why they made a truffle humidor, I guess. Hmm. The draw isn't that perfect yet. So let's cut off a little bit more. Let's say this, this much. Hmm. Much better. See what a difference that little piece can make. So in total, I cut off this much. Hmm. Very mild, like very, very mild. Although it's a 2019 cigar, somehow the taste, the taste is like it's an older cigar. There is no youngness, no sharpness, nothing in the beginning. Like, absolutely nothing. It's... Mm. This in combination with a cup of coffee. It's, it's not tasting like an aged cigar, but it's just tasting like a bit older. The roughness is gone. Damn, I'm really surprised because I have to say <clears throat> I was a bit skeptic. Okay, I heard a couple of guys saying that it's a very good cigar, but I haven't talked about the price yet. And it's not a low price. So when I first saw the cigar, I saw the boxes, I was like, damn, what a price for this size cigar. Uh, no extra bands. People who pay this much money for a cigar want extra bands on it. Let's be honest. So for that price, I really thought this is this is this is a high price for a cigar. But seriously, seriously, a good cigar. So for the complete box that I just showed you. Uh, sorry, I thought the, the recording stopped. So, for the complete box that I just showed you, you pay 474 euros. That's the total box. Uh, that's a box of 15 cigars. So, that comes down to 31 euros and 60 cents per cigar. That's including tax. But still, that's a lot of money. For that money, you're in the region of a quite a special limitada, quite a special jaw uh, cigar. But for that price, you do get a very nice traffic humidor you can always use later on. And I do have to say, the cigar, the cigar is very good. I can honestly say, this one tastes better than any Limitada I have ever had from Hoyo. I think I missed one of all the Limitadas, but 
from all the Louis Vuittons that I did have, this is this is better. This is definitely a better cigar. Strange. Did you use such a good tobacco for this blend? Hmm. So, the humidor was uh, presented in 2018 uh, in Cannes, in France, on a uh, festival, uh, was sort of festival about tobacco, travel festival, and uh, they presented the travel humidor. They made more of them throughout all the years, but this is the, the latest one that we can get. So, in tradition of Habanos, they presented it in 2018. It's now uh, 2019 and it's on the market, of course. Well, seriously, it's such a good cigar. <laughs> well, sorry, I'm really, I'm definitely surprised about it. I wish they used this blend in a lot more cigars. Okay, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this cigar and I will see you at uh, probably around the band, somewhere like that. Hopefully it goes on like this. But look at that ash. Oh. Okay, see you guys later. I am still enjoying this. So unfortunately I had to tap the ash off. I was taking a picture, took a little bit too long. It went out. but. Else, I would definitely still have a very nice ash cone. Normally, I don't talk a lot about the, 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 uh, the different tastes a lot, but this is very nice and creamy somehow. The, the smoke that comes out of it is really full. When you have it in your mouth, it's really um, a little bit of a thick smoke. It tastes very good. Still, up, on this, up until this point, no sharpness, no youngness, no nothing. Really, seriously. Seriously, a good cigar. Um, I have to say uh, that I, I made a mistake. I said 2018 was the year they presented it, but it was 2017 they presented it. So maybe, maybe they were already making those cigars in that year, uh, but the box date is 2019, 2019. So maybe the cigars already have a little bit of age on them because it's, it's such a smooth cigar. If only, if only this cigar would have been like between 15 and 20 euros, or if it was less, I would have smoked this cigar every single day, 100%. It's uh, uh, normally for me the the Epicure number two, one of my favorite cigars for in the morning, but this this is beating that by a long shot. So, but because of the price, this is not a cigar, or at least not for me, I think not for most people, that you will smoke every single day. Uh, but this is one of those cigars that is so nice to smoke once in a while. To really, really enjoy. If you have a moment for yourself in the morning and you're, you're a person who smokes in the morning, this is perfect. Seriously. Mm. Man. Like I said, the, the price is high, but... Damn, this is a good smoke. Seriously, never had a um, Hoyo this good. Never. No. So, normally, well, so far Hoyo has none in the regular production. Never had a pyramid, of never don't have a pyramid. Sorry, maybe they had it in the, in the past. Not really sure, but at this moment there is no uh, type of pyramid in their assortment for the regulars. Of course, there were some uh, limitadas with a pyramid, but they should definitely, if, if this is the taste they make with a pyramid, they should have it in a regular production. Really. Mm. So, I always talk about the investment side. Well, 5,000 boxes of uh, 15 cigars, that's a lot of cigars. But it's, uh, it's quite hard to find them. Uh, these won't be for sale in normal, uh, normal regular stores like a uh, Habanos Point or I believe not even in a Habanos Specialist store. These are for the, the tax-free duty shops in the airports and they are for the La Casa del Bano stores. That's why that's where it was presented for. 
so it's it's a harder to find cigar uh, in the beginning I don't think the price will go up very quick but this is one of those cigars if you if you put a couple of those travel humidors away for a couple of years they will double in price for sure for sure yes even though there isn't a second ban on it I wish they did the H program with the H band on this this the price will go through through the roof on this one trust me hmm. This is not one of those cigars to, to show off on Instagram because of the single band. It doesn't look special. It looks like a normal Vitola. Um, but this is one of those cigars for the real aficionados that really want to enjoy a special thing. This is one of those cigars. Yeah, I'm definitely going to smoke this to the very end until I burn my fingers. The draw. In the beginning, I had a little difficulty with the draw. I had to cut it again, and after that, I cut it a little bit more. But now the draw is perfect. Hmm. Yeah, very, very, seriously, very nice cigar. I really enjoy this. Yeah. Well. Thank you guys for watching. I know it was a little bit of a short episode with me only saying how great this cigar is. But yeah, you get the point. You, you, you can see the smile on my face when smoking this. This is definitely something else. It definitely is. Okay, thanks you for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. The link to the cigar will be in the uh, description below, of course. And uh, see you guys next time. Smoke on.